Hello guys, it's T-Rex here and welcome to episode 19 of Star System Spotlights, this time featuring Zeta Aquilae. Zeta Aquilae is a Federation corporate system that is situated approximately 83 light years from Seoul. This, well, from, let's look at the system map first. So first, we can see it. its main star is a class A white star, very, very bright, very high surface temperatures, and of course, uh, more massive than the sun. And then we have two uh, smaller class M red stars that are orbiting it. And so let's go from um, here. So here you can see it has a Zeta Aquilae CA belt. So this is a belt that is metal rich and has major reserves. So to all of you mining people out there, you, this is a nice place to go if you want to get some real money. So, and orbiting this second star here is only one uh, single planet. I'm not sure if there is more planets because I have not discovered more. So um, yeah, I'll have to look into that. But right now I have uh, only discovered in high mental content planets right here. And so let's talk about the main star and its planets. So I found these planets right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 10. However, eight and nine I did not find because uh, maybe their orbit was um, out of the orbital plane or something like that. So uh, I'm just going to do it, do this episode without them because I'm pretty sure they're either high middle content planets or icy planets or water worlds like these. There are only three kinds of possibilities. They can't be gas giants because you can look at the distance here. It's not possible that a huge gas giant could fit into that short of a distance there. Okay, so we can see from our known planets that the first seven are all high metal content or metal rich planets. And this, I mean, this basically means that this system will be refinery and extraction um, economy based. So this system has two outposts only and only two outposts. So the first one is a phalane plant and it only has commodities, refuel and repair. So you, you, uh, this is not, uh, this doesn't have full facilities here. So you would want to go to Moment Holdings right here which is orbiting Z Zeta Aquilae A5 and it has all the common facilities but it doesn't have a shipyard but you wouldn't want to buy your ship in uh, extraction or refine uh, refinery system anyways you would want to go to a high sec high tech system for that so and um, one last thing we talk about before we go visit that uh, la lava covered uh, metal content planet so we can see the a water world here, and it's slightly bigger than Earth. It's slightly more massive than Earth, and it has a 10-year orbital period, Earth years, 10 Earth years. And the most amazing thing is that it is a water world, but because it's so massive, it has its own rings, like Saturn. So that's pretty interesting, but it's uh, way too far. It's like 4,000 light seconds, so I will not be including it in this episode so if you guys want to see it definitely go 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 to Azeta Aquilae since it's not really that far from the center of the universe of the human universe I mean so and its population is approximately 200,000 you can see there eight 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 180,000 so here's the main star the class a white star very very bright don't um, go near it because it's gonna burn you up just like uh, uh, Well, I mean maybe a little bit less than what white dwarves will, white dwarves will do but uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty uh, dangerous for you, so We are going to Z uh, Zeta Aquilae a5 which is approximately 655 light seconds away Whoops! You guys didn't see that. I thought I was in super cruise, but I was actually in normal space. As you guys can see, I upgraded my Cobra into a Lacon Type 6. Since um, trade is actually the most profitable uh, to do right now. I want to be able to save up some uh, spare money so when the expansion packs come I can really enjoy myself instead of trying to grind out the money to buy new ships and all that. 
I'll just grind money now. Actually, that was not that bad. So, I can actually show you guys the water world after this. Let's just see how far it is after we visit this uh, high middle content planet. You can see there's a couple of ships um, flying around here. Two light seconds away. That means uh, we can see the planet, right? Oh yeah, the lava color. Also, if you haven't had a Lacon Type 6 before, it has almost a 360 degree cockpit view, which is really nice. So the Adder is supposedly a low tier exploration ship, but its cockpit kind of sucks. The view is just uh, not as not even close to this so you can see Zeta Aquilite A5 here high middle content planet molten lava on the surface I assume too bad I don't have a detailed uh, scanner uh, or I could actually measure the temperature on the planet that would be really really nice and we can see the that's the outpost you want to go to because it has all the common facilities so let's actually look Zeta Aquilite A10. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just go there. It's not going to be that far, I guess. I thought it was going to take us uh, a long time. Because you don't see water worlds with rings that often, so it's a pretty uh, rare chance. So here is the cockpit of the Lacon Type 6. You can see some blueprints over there of the ship. And over here you can see some of the, I don't know, the engines. Engine, um, I don't know, what is that? Little dots on a grid. And you can see space passing by from under your feet. It's pretty nice. The Lacon series actually have much better views than the other ships. However, to those who are going to buy the uh, Lacon Type 6, it is a space truck or a space tank, if you want to say. But it's not really a tank since its shield and uh, hull is actually not that good. It's actually worse than the Cobra. But it is a tank in the sense that it has a lot of inertia. So when you try to dock or uh, or undock at stations at your departure, like you want to be extremely slow because you don't because you can't slow the ship down like you can in a Cobra. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. You do not want to crash this ship. Um, not because of this ship's repair cost, but because of the potential cargo that you would have in it. Because you wouldn't want to uh, leave. Uh, you want to. You wouldn't want to do any trips without cargo, like I'm doing right now. I have no cargo right now because I'm actually doing the excursion from my major trade route. So I don't want to bring some access weight with me. That would cost me fuel. And I don't have a fuel scoop on it since this is actually a cargo ship. So, yeah, this is just, uh, what I'm doing right here is not right. You should use, like, a Cobra for this kind of exploration stuff. Yeah, it takes a long time just to slow down. Even in, like, uh, but you can catch a glimpse of it right there. Let's go to the light side of it. That is amazing. Rings are just beautiful. Let me see if I can actually park on... There's a Seeking Luxuries. There's a merchant right there. 
That doesn't look like a water planet to me. It looks like the moon that has rings, but uh, it's supposedly a water planet, but I don't have a detailed uh, surface scanner. So again, that that is kind of lacking for me. Well, I would know the composition of its atmosphere and its uh, total composition. So right now I'm flying above the rings of Zeta Aquilae A10. Wow. If it's really water or ice, I mean, it's really dark for water or ice. That To be that color, I mean, it is. So, alright, this is episode 19 featuring Zeta Aquilae, and I will see you guys later.